Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. Today I posted a video in my channel's community section called, Is the World Reserve Currency the Petrodollar in Danger with the Oil Crash? The gentleman that did the video is from one of my favorite XRP YouTube channels and goes by the handle, Blockchain Backer, and I can assure you, he knows his shit, excuse my French. If you have not seen this video yet, you need to go watch it now, this one can wait, it is very important that you understand the petrodollar and what just occurred with oil and how it affects the US dollar. After all when you exchange, what will you be exchanging your Iraqi dinner into? With that being said, let us get started with today's articles. First article of interest for today, the Iraqi Stock Exchange announces the resumption of trading next Sunday. The Iraqi Stock Exchange announced the resumption of trading on shares next Sunday, after the recent decisions of the anti-coronavirus cell to reduce the ban hours from 24 hours to 11 hours. The stock exchange said in a book addressed to the Securities Commission seen by the Economy News, the Board of Governors decided to resume the activity of stock trading sessions as of Sunday, April 26, noting that brokerage companies will trade from their headquarters in Baghdad remotely using the electronic trading system associated with the market. He stressed that the investor base and the market will remain closed until further notice as well as the permanence of employees will be 25% with a commitment to wear masks and the required preventive operations. Next article of interest. A deputy proposes a compulsory borrowing from the participating banks in the currency auction to mitigate the damages of the oil drop. On Wednesday, the deputy from Nineveh Governorate, Ahmed al Jubari presented for proposals to avoid the crisis of falling oil prices and secure employee salaries. Al Jubari said, through his Twitter account, that the central bank must carry out mandatory internal borrowing from private banks participating in the auction sale of the currency. He added, likewise, the Ministry of Finance will stop financing all projects for a period of one year and transfer them to pay salaries, medicine, and food while stopping dual and fake salaries and retrieving them. He urged, working to separate the delusional aliens, referring to employees who are paid salaries and do not provide services to the state, and their number is estimated in thousands in Iraq. This comes in conjunction with the drop in oil prices in a way that is called in the oil trading markets, free fall, as the contracts for American Texas crude for the next month lost their value and fell below zero. Before that, Iraq announced its commitment to a new agreement to reduce oil, which resulted in recent OPEC Plus talks, according to which it will reduce its production by 1.061 million barrels per day, which will cast a shadow over the Iraqi budget, which depends almost entirely on oil. The Finance Committee in Parliament had submitted a set of proposals to be taken in the face of the crisis of falling prices or to reduce its severity. Member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Faisal al-Asawi, said on Tuesday, April 21, 2020, the proposals presented by the committee to overcome the crisis of low oil prices, in conjunction with the outbreak of the new coronavirus, and its impact on economic activities. Al-Asawi added in an interview with Baghdad Today. The Finance Committee had previously submitted proposals to get out of the crisis, but the government did not take them. And, the Ministerial Energy Council meeting came to try to accommodate the issue and provide the necessary materials to facilitate people's lives, and the economy not completely collapse, expecting, the return to decrease a little in Iraq will be a great embarrassment to provide the salaries of employees and other needs. And on the Financial Committee's proposals to overcome the crisis, he said that there were several paths that were presented, such as controlling border crossings, following up the great waste in oil refineries and how to take advantage of the monetary block in the banks and the central bank, and perhaps going towards international financial institutions to borrow. He believed the current government will not be able to take a decision or discuss the proposals and it may be the responsibility of the new government. Next article of interest. Deputy, 
Iran has lost a large part of its role in Iraq and America can now end the armed factions. Member of the House of Representatives Mohammad al-Qadi saw that Iran has lost a large part of its role in Iraq, indicating that America can now end the armed factions. He said in a press statement, the issue of restricting weapons to the state is not related to the next prime minister, Mustafa al-Qazemi, but rather is an international regional issue, mainly related to the United States, and the nature of its dealings with the Iraqi file, if it wants to proceed with this option. It will be able to that is without question. Alka Alidi added, Iran has lost a large part of its role in Iraq, and may have lost its entire role during the past period, and it is currently suffering internal crises, and it has no control or acceptability in Iraqi affairs, so if the United States decides to end the armed factions in Iraq, al Qazemi will do that. Next article of interest. Trump orders the Marines to destroy any Iranian boat that intercepts American ships. U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered the U.S. Marines to destroy any Iranian boats that intercept American ships. The U.S. Navy accused Iran of carrying out provocative and dangerous acts against a number of American ships in international waters in the Gulf. The U.S. military said that 11 Iranian boats were exposed to six American ships participating in military exercises in the Gulf waters. The U.S. Navy explained that the boats approached the American ships at a high speed, and accused Tehran of violating international rules. The Navy statement said that the American forces reserve the right to act to defend themselves. There was no comment from the Iranian authorities. The American ships issued many warnings to the Iranian boats, which moved away after about an hour, according to the statement. Tensions rose between Washington and Tehran earlier this year after a U.S. airstrike in Iraq killed the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, Qasem Soleimani. Then, on January 8, Iran retaliated with a missile attack on the Iraqi base of al-Assad where U.S. forces were located without causing the death or injury. Earlier this month, U.S. President Donald Trump said Iran and its proxies had planned attacks on U.S. targets in Iraq, and warned that they would pay a very high price. Next article of interest. Petrodollar system crumbles. U.S. dollar could collapse from the world's oil wars. During the last few days, People witnessed history when the price of crude oil dropped below zero to minus $40 per barrel, and as time passes many analysts think the worst is yet to come. After West Texas Intermediate WTI, oil-based contracts dried up for May, contracts for June collapsed by 45%. Experts say that the continued sell-off shows the oil problems are not going away and the severe issues could ultimately destroy the U.S. dollar. Since 1944, the USD has been propped up by the petrodollar scheme and with oil prices below zero, the dollar could easily collapse. With the petrodollar system devastated, the US dollar is more fragile than ever. Free market advocates, gold bugs, and cryptocurrency proponents have always said that today's monetary system was immoral and manipulated. Of all the countries in the world, U.S. leaders have been some of the worst manipulators in history and the nation's superpowers may be coming to an end. The U.S. government has blamed the coronavirus outbreak on the economic devastation, but America's financial system was already in trouble before the virus. On April 20, the world witnessed history when the value of a barrel of crude oil dropped negative 300 percent below zero, sending oil dealers into a frenzy. The day wiped out WTI contracts for May and the following day on Tuesday, WTI contracts fell by 45%. Experts believe the worst is yet to come, and the well-known firm Gunter Financial Group of Raymond James said oil prices will remain at rock bottom for a while. One of the biggest reasons why oil prices have collapsed is because OPEC members had failed to agree with each other. With all the side deals taking place and megatankers of oil being stored at sea, countries who want to obtain harder reserves than the USD will sell for gold and stronger currencies. Oil tankers unable to dock are currently sitting out at sea off the coast of California, with an alleged 20 million barrels worth of crude. Additionally, 
Many of these countries are rich in oil reserves, which still powers a great deal of the world's industries. The U.S. has abundant reserves of oil in Texas, Alaska, and Oklahoma but it may not be enough to sustain a crude oil war. After looking at the U.S. dollar from a different angle and in the context of the petrodollar, it's hard to imagine the currency not experiencing hyperinflation. When Americans find out that their dollars are predicated on the use of military force, then they may realize how worthless the tender has become. Barrels of oil dropping below zero is not something economists are taking lightly and it really shows how fragile the US dollar is today. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.